Today we're trying to break the world record, the Guinness world record, for the most amount of Nintendo DSs uh, being played in the same place at the same time. So we're trying to break that, um, getting as many people together into the museum. Uh, half past six, we're going to count down, and then everyone's got to play their DSs for ten minutes exactly. Uh, and then we'll see if we've broken the record and put the museum on the map. Well, there's a, a Guinness World Record attempt taking place for the most people playing Nintendo DS simultaneously. The current record stands at 586 players. That took place only a few months ago down in London. So we need to see 587 gamers here today to take the world record. My, my job today is I'm going to be verifying the number of gamers uh, to Guinness World Record standard so that we can award the record in good faith, knowing that uh, there were enough people here to, to create a really world-breaking achievement. Well then, guys, say hello to the crowd right here. Hi, guys, how you doing? This man is very important. This is the man we need to impress. You wouldn't think it, looking at him, but this guy is a tough cookie. Guys, just quickly, what are we looking for today? We're looking for over 586 people playing Nintendo DS for 10 minutes. Now, this is a Guinness World Record, and Guinness World Records are serious business. We need 587. It doesn't matter. If you get any more than that, you're Guinness World Record holders. Okay, 587 is the number we're looking for. Can we do it, Bradford? Yeah. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Let's see those DSs in the air. Wave up for the cameras, ladies and gentlemen, if you're ready to take part in this. People outside, let's see, let's see those hands in the air. Let's go! Let's start gaming. Go, 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 go. Concentrate, guys. Let's get gaming. And let's get this music down. And let's hear you do your thing. All right, guys, looking good. Keep playing, keep it together. As long as we can do this for 10 minutes and we have the right amount of people playing, then we've done it. We don't find out if we've done it, of course, until those 10 minutes are over. Ladies and gents, give yourselves a big cheer. We have completed the time period. <laughs> How did we do, guys? Well, you needed 587. The numbers have been verified and counted twice to Guinness World Record standards, and I am happy to confirm that 659 gamers have just broken a new Guinness World Record. Ladies and gentlemen, you have done it, and there's the certificate to prove it. Here at the National Media Museum in Bradford, with Real Radio and the Guinness Book of World Records, you are now officially Record Breakers! Make some noise for yourself, guys! I'm really delighted to say that we've smashed the record, and it wasn't 587, but it was well over 600. It's about 650 people. So we've beaten the record by about 100 people. So that's really, really thrilling. I think it's great. It gets the community together, and it shows how much support Bradford does really have for one another. And it's good for kids as well. Gets you out and about, doesn't it? Look around here, everybody plays games now. It's just unbelievable, it's really exciting. So from my perspective, I've seen so much change over the, over the ages, over the years, over the decades. Um, so this is basically just about the community of people, different ages, different sexes, just everybody playing games, enjoying themselves. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, I'm Colin Philpott, I'm the director of the museum, and I'm absolutely delighted to say that we have broken the world record here today. 659 people uh, played Nintendo. Uh, so we smashed the record by almost 100, which is absolutely fantastic. So for me, it's a great big thank you to all the people who came uh, and who took part in this and obviously really, really enjoyed themselves. Uh, it's a really big thank you to loads of people in the museum um, who looked after everybody and organised the crowds in such an efficient way. Uh, and it's a fantastic thing to put the museum and to put Bradford on the map because we are now in the Guinness Book of Records.